Hi, this is Shadi, and today it's gonna be Bruce Lee, one of the most influential philosophers and martial artists and filmmakers that ever lived. His philosophy pertaining martial arts and everything in life about rejecting what is useless, constantly evolving and adapting and having an open mind to adding something new and also rejecting something that we already have in case we realize that it's not something benefiting us. So his philosophy is pretty much similar to Kyuzo Mifune, but in a far more uh, different way of elaborating it. So. The first example that we have here is against Judo Jean LaBelle and here he goes for an Ogoshi, he backflips and then continues it with a Sutemiwaza which is the Tomoenage, very similar to Kyuzo Mifune against his students but there is a strike involved and here a classical Tomoenage throwing Judo Jean LaBelle. Uh, Tomoenage is a classical Judo Jujutsu throw. It is arguably one of my favorites, uh, highly effective and of catching people off guard and being done at the beginner and the high level. You have also the Yoko Tomoenage or the side circular throw, very uh, effective in both Judo and BJJ in case of pulling guard or you know throwing in order to continuing uh, on the ground for Neiwaza. Here you can see there are many variations of the Yoko Tomoenage and the Tomoenage in general. And like I said, one of the most effective, even Simba used it to throw Scar down the fire pit. So Tomoenage is the first one against the legendary uh, Jean LaBelle in the movie. So the next one being the Okuri Ashi Harai in this uh, Jeet Kune Do demonstration. Uh, sliding foot sweep, sweeping and blowing through both legs. Uh, Okuri Ashi Harai, also one of the basics and classics of Judo, highly effective, uh, requires a lot of timing and concentration. Here he had his eyes closed, showing how much he can feel the movement and that's what Okuri Ashi Harai uh, consists of. So uh, if you watched or know a little bit about the Nage no Kata, it has sections uh, Teiwaza, Koshiwaza, Ashiwaza, uh, Sutemiwaza, Yoko Sutemiwaza and here in the Ashiwaza the first technique you ever do uh, in the Nage no Kata is the Okuri Ashiharai, the sliding foot sweep here you see you slide the foot towards the other and then blow them off uh, taking Uke completely off balance and onto the ground uh, do not be confused with Deashi Harai which is advancing foot sweep so here you see this is the Ashi Harai, uh, sweeping the leg that's leading forward and not going through slide towards the other leg. So Okuri Ashi Harai, one of the greatest and here he does it blindfolded so showing how he feels the movement and uh, requires good timing and he has it. So Bruce Lee, a legend. The next one here being like Karatekas is the O Sotogari very much in a karateka-like manner, Osotogari, again, one of the basics and classical of Judo, Jiu-Jitsu, and uh, many grappling arts around the world. It's a white belt throw, you, you learn it as a white belt. Now, I'm not saying you master it as a white belt, but in the white belt curriculum, the Osotogari is there. It's arguably the first uh, throw that you will ever learn is the Osotogari with the concepts of Kuzushi, so on and so forth. So the next one is here you have the Ko Sotogari or the minor outer reap. He is on the outside and reaps away of the leg. Here you go to the side, outside, and then you just blow through the leg sliding forward. Uh, Bruce Lee does it swiftly. Here you can see it in the judo context. Uh, Bruce Lee grabbed the arm rather than the uh, kimono or the judo gi. Here you see a Morote Gari with a punch to the groin, again one of the old and classical, I've shown this technique many times, whether it is in the context of MMA, freestyle wrestling, and here in Judo back in 2010, it was still legal, um, now it is not, but nonetheless, it is one of the 67 throws of Judo, Bruce Lee here does it in the context of striking and mixed martial arts. 
So here you have uh, countering the kick with a big swift skuinage. Uh, skuinage is a scooping throw. It is very clear that Rusi was scooping up. Some might argue that this is a teguruma. I would say this is more of a Sukuinage scooping up the kick as it's coming to him and then here like this one and taking down I would argue this is a Sukuinage a scooping throw also it's illegal now the next one here against Chuck Norris uh, it can be done either way if you like lock the neck and then you know break it this is considered like one of the old uh, Osahi Shigi or the crushing hold or in case you're targeting the trachea and choking, this is a Mai uh, Hadaka Jime. Uh, it's a choke, so this the other one is a spine lock. Here you see lift a shoulder wheel, a big shoulder wheel, the Kata Guruma. Now there's a leg, quote unquote legal variation of the Kata Guruma, but nonetheless, uh, it is one of these old uh, wrestling techniques. Jigoro Kano added it to his arsenal back when he couldn't defeat a sumo wrestler. It's a very interesting story about how he uh, studied Western wrestling in order to add it. Now here, uh, this one is a bit tricky. It looks like he's doing an, uh, an arm bar, but here as he's curling, uh, it looked like he's doing like a uh, Ude Garami stretch out, but he was grabbing his own uh, tri uh, forearm rather than uh, the other guy's wrists. So it was a bit weird. Here you can see the Juji Gatame on someone who's doing a Juji Gatame. Also one of the basics of uh, old submission grappling, uh, the armbar. It is found in many um, civilizations. The armbar, the Ude Hishigi Juji Gatame. Again, one of the classics. Here you saw in the pictures Bruce Lee demonstrating it. Uh, he was a very open-minded martial artist, constantly adding to his arsenal of striking and grappling as well. Here you see a Makikomi, a very rarely used, but nonetheless Bruce Lee did use it. It is incredibly impressive. You can see it in competition in Judo all the time. Uh, you don't see it much else unless it's uh, Chidaoba wrestling of uh, Georgia, but everything else like Jiu Jitsu, etc. Maybe Sambo, but in Judo it is very popular. Uh, the Makikomi. The next one here against Karim Abdul Jabbar. He's doing a uh, Kata Gatame. He got reversed, but here you see is also one of the classical pins of Judo, the Kata Gatame. And I would say it's my favorite pin uh, to use uh, in Judo. It looks very aesthetically pleasing and also um, the less contact. Uh, Actually, the contact, as Tav Travis Stevens puts it, is actually with the, with your side, your ribs, and your waist, uh, and it is not with your uh, hips because they look separated. So it's not like a, an arm triangle you're choking, but rather you are remaining with contacts with your contact with your torso on Uke's side. So it is highly effective, minimal contact, but it holds down perfectly. Here you see this is a Ushiro Hada. Hadakajime, uh, uh, a rear naked choke. Uh, here he looks like he's doing Hanegoshi almost. So this was Bruce Lee, a very interesting arsenal of techniques. Uh, if you have anything else to add, uh, re especially regarding that uh, MMA match in the black trunks, it looks like he's doing Juji Gatame but switched to Ude Garami almost, but didn't look like it's locked. So if you have anything else to add, let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.